IRN to me represents one of the, one of the pinnacles, uh, pinnacle events in the UDL community. And bringing all these educators together from higher ed to, to primary grades, from the ed tech world to, to uh, you, know, uh, the, you know, the furniture and design world, it brings us all together around a conversation. And that conversation is how do we really design inclusive environments it's just great. Um, it's such a diverse group now. Um, you know, we have architects and people who are interested in early childhood and the workforce and from all over the world. It's just uh, a growing movement. UDL is a phenomenal framework that can help transform learning opportunities. But right now, it's not well enough known, not well enough understood. So we need to both spread the love, get the message out there, as well as dispel some of the myths about UDL. Uh, some of the myths that are out there related to that it's about special education, it's false. It's about all learners. Universal Design for Learning is this collection of the great research and information about the best strategies, practices that we're going to use to meet the needs of all learners so that they can become what we call expert learners. I really want to empower learners to understand how they learn and what their strengths and challenges are. So when you understand who learners are, it's critical around instructional design. I think it's not about creating this one lesson for this student and creating this other lesson for another student. It's about creating a lesson that all students can then access. Uh, it really makes everyone's life easier. So the first step of UDL success is paint your picture, and the picture for me was never UDL. The picture for me was inclusion. It was eliminating inequities. It was to broaden the meaning of success. It was to create conditions of nurture in every classroom. It was to create teachers who had the autonomy to be an architect of designing and learning. Okay, and UDL was the vehicle that got us there, but another part of the vehicle that got us there were all the mistakes and all the failures and all the setbacks. Whether you're a brand new novice with Universal Design for Learning or you're an expert, there's something for you here. So this event, more than anything, is about growing the field's understanding of UDL and, uh, and celebrating that networking. We need to create a more, a stronger relationship between practitioners and researchers. Well, one of the things that I enjoy about this conference is that um, you're moving from research to actually seeing how people are implementing it out in the field. And I think that's important, is to bring those lessons from the field to the research and then see how that research is being translated out in the field. It really is the best event of the year because people come from all over. The number of international folks who raised their hands this morning amazed me. Um, and it really brings um, a lot of people from the field. So you're able to hear all the different ways that UDL is inspiring people to change their practice. There's so many things to love about UDL. I mean, it transformed me as a teacher. It, um, I, I can think I can safely say I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now if I had not been introduced to the framework. It, it, it breathes new life into somebody's career. I think it's going to be bigger than the Beatles, the Stones, Lady Gaga, and Beyonce, I think. And I think we're going to have like hats that are going to say make America more UDL-like, I don't know, in a few years. I mean, this is the networking event of the year. Um, there's just so many social things to do. So you can go to a lot of conferences and, and see some amazing speakers. And I think what is unique about the UDL IRN is, you know, they have food trucks come in. There's like a cocktail and coloring event at night. You know, you go for morning runs and do yoga with each other. And there's so much time scheduled for networking. There are some things that you can do virtually and through papers and blogs, but there's nothing quite like face-to-face -face communication and uh, it brings people together and it, uh, this conference in particular uh, creates some energy so things that happen here actually take legs once we leave. That's why I like it.